October 6th and we're officially starting production now. Life has been a whirlwind since New York Fashion Week. I went straight to Spain because my grandpa passed away. So I was there for a week. And then the day after I got back, my best friends from Indiana came to visit. And the day that they left, I also left for Dallas, my dad's 50th. So I just got back yesterday morning and now I'm like finally ready to actually start on orders and get back to normal life. September was just so much more chaotic than I could have ever imagined it to be. Lots of really high highs and lots of low lows and it was just a roller coaster of emotions but I'm very much ready to just be here and get things going. So I'm going to print out all of the orders that I have to make. Full transparency, I don't really have that many because it's just not a good time for sales for anybody. So we got a few, but not that many. So I'm gonna print these out and we'll kind of figure out where we wanna start. So like I said, not really a good time for sales just because we're like going into a recession right now. So I feel like anybody who's selling products at all is just experiencing like a dip in sales generally, which is really interesting because around this time, like October, November, December is usually the higher seasons because of the holidays. So I'm curious to see if even during the recession we'll still have a high in that aspect or if it's just going to be a low because the holiday season is really usually like my highest season. Don't mind my printer trying to go off right now. So I'm kind of curious to see how that will play out. I'm a little sad the collection hasn't done better, but I kind of expected it. I didn't think it would like be super crazy just because I know that we're kind of heading towards a recession and people aren't shopping as much. So I know it's not like a me thing right now, but anyway, that is the update on that. So we won't have too many production vlogs, but I think I am going to pre-make some stuff for like pop-ups this season and stuff like that. So I don't know, we'll just see where life takes us. <laughs> So I'm taking a quick lunch break before we start because I spent the entire morning just like editing, catching up on emails and getting that side of things situated because it's the only side of things I've been able to do obviously while being gone, but also like my internet wasn't that great and it's just like hard to actually think and do things properly when you're on the road so i just really wanted to catch up pre-edit a bunch of things and have them drafted and just like ready to go i feel like i'm back on that and we will start orders as soon as i finish eating because i am hungry okay so here's my list of things i need to make so i have one black striped ava top those are easy and quick to make that might be one of my first ones to make then i have one patrick baby tee which is also not too bad to make i have two of the black Oreo dresses which is so funny because if you watched obviously the vlogs of me like creating the collection this was the last dress that I made and when I had it on I like did not like it at all but I took it to the show regardless and I was like whatever I'll see it on a model and maybe I'll like discard it last minute or whatever but once I saw it on the models I was like okay yeah I think it was just like one size too big for me still so I think it's more of a size four rather than a two because it fit my models so so well and they were like one size more than I am and also it was a little too long on me because I'm shorter but I did that purposefully because I knew the models would be taller and I didn't want it to be too short on them so obviously once I make it shorter for myself it would also look more flattering but yeah that's why I originally didn't love it on myself but then I saw it on them and I was like wow this looks great like on the runway looked so so good like Kimmy killed that and also a day for the actual photo shoot incredible both of them looked stunning so that being said I got two orders of that which is just so funny because it was like my last minute dress that I didn't care for too much and then it's the one that I've gotten the most orders for so far. And I also have one pair of the olive pants currently. So that is where I'm at. I feel like I always get asked how many orders I actually get and all the things and it's like, really, it's not that much. So here is the reality of it which just makes me even more grateful for any orders I do get. So I wanna get started on these. I feel like I've not made orders in the longest time and it's like the weirdest feeling to be back to doing it. But I also kinda need to like clear out my space because when I had my friends in town, I was just cleaning up everything because everything was such a mess from before I left for New York. And I went through all my fabrics and I'm going to be selling a lot of them. So I have this whole big stack of them here and they'll be up for sale on my website soon as soon as I can get them like properly photographed and all the things. I don't know when that's going to be, hopefully within the next week or so. So check my website. If you haven't, it might be up by the time this video is up. I'm not sure. Or it might be up soon after. So lots of fabrics though, but I need to get those out of the way so that I can actually like spread out and get cutting. I don't know where I want to start, but I do know that I can't do the pants yet because I'm waiting on the inseam measurements for those. So that's the only one that I am waiting on. I might 
start patterning out the black Oreo dresses just because I think those should be relatively easy to do and I can just get both of those going and then since I'll have the black thread on the serger then I can just do the black stripe top too and then we can do the baby tee after that with the pants after. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna start patterning this out. I have one that is a size two, which is pretty much my size. So like I said, the one that I originally made the sample, I felt was a one size too big for me. I felt like it was like a good size four. So I'm basically gonna take the pattern I do have from that sample and size it down. And then the other one I have is for a size 10. So then I'll be sizing it up for that one. I think while I'm at it, I'm also just gonna go ahead and like make myself one too, since the sample ended up being a little bit big for me. And then I can just sell the sample eventually as like a sample. So that's what I'm thinking. This pattern isn't like super crazy to adjust because it's a pretty basic front and back. So I basically just have to take, uh, take it in on the sides and that's pretty much it. And then I slightly move the darts in the front, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And then just the length. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's the next day. I made the patterns yesterday and then I forgot that I had plans that night. So I met up with my friend Medanisa, which you probably know her at Benulus on TikTok and Instagram and all the things. She is here in LA for Hispanic Heritage Month. TikTok is doing a little event this weekend and she's one of the trailblazers for this year which is so cool so she got in yesterday and we hung out before she has like her whole weekend full of activities with tiktok which i'm also part of shockingly i am part of casa tiktok so i got invited to their event on saturday which will be fun but anyway so i hung out with her because we met at new york fashion week which you know if you saw the behind the scenes you saw like us actually meeting in person but Obviously we didn't get a chance to like fully just talk as like friends. I just got to talk to her for like five minutes maybe. So it was nice to actually just like hang out and talk. We've like FaceTimed before, but haven't had the time to like really sit down and just talk. So it was really nice to have that before we also have like another weekend of just like crazy activities and things. And then after that, I hung out with my Bumble friends and we went to the beach and just had a little picnic because we also hadn't hung out in so long because I've been gone for so long. So it was just nice to be able to catch up with them. And today is just a normal work day. I I do have a call at 11, but that's the only thing I have going on today. So I'm gonna start cutting out the Oreo dresses. I have it all prepped. Like I said, all the patterns are made. So now it's just cutting and actually making them. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a little bit hard to get back into the routine of like actually sewing. I feel like I've been so out of it for so long because I've like just made my collections, but I haven't really like made orders in so long. So I'm like really trying to get myself back in that headspace and it's been a little difficult because i've been so much into the like being on my like computer or phone for working so really trying to push for that but that being said let's get cutting and I'm still not done with two of these dresses, which are arguably some of the easiest and quickest to make. And I should have been done a long time ago, but it is so hard for me to get anything done right now. Like, I don't know what it's been about the past like couple months, but I've just not had the motivation to do anything. I think it's just like a mixture of things, obviously, but I feel like I've been putting in so much work into everything that I've done and then like just not really gotten a lot out of it. I don't get a lot of orders anymore. I feel like my content doesn't get seen. I don't get as much engagement as I once did. Like everything's just like not, I don't wanna say it's not like not going well, like it's still going, but it's just so slow. And I feel like no matter what I do, it just continues to be slow. And it's been like that for like the entire year. And I think I'm just so frustrated because I've done everything I 
can humanly think of, or at least I feel like I have, just for it to continue to be the same. It's like I do New York Fashion Week, it goes super, super well. Like the whole show is great, the event's great, everybody's like hyping it up. And then I launch and nothing. And then I put out content about it and nothing. So it's just like, I don't know. I'm just frustrated and it makes it really hard for me to like even want to make orders or do anything right now which sucks because like you know i am grateful for the orders i do get but it's just so hard right now like i really am struggling through all of these so so much so that is the reality of it currently which is unfortunately not very fun but such is life nevertheless we persist i am almost done with these dresses though i just have to put the like neck band on it and then um finish the hem and then they're Good, so it's not like I have that much to do really, but still feel like I should have had these done like so much quicker. But here we are. Okay, it is five o'clock and I finally have managed to finish both of these dresses. So here they are, they're done. They're kind of hard to just like show because it's like just a neck piece and then the rest is like an open back. So it's not like it looks good when it's just hung up. But this is what it looks like. Also, this fabric is really interesting because like it looks like it'd be pretty see-through, but then when you wear it, it doesn't look see-through at all really. Because I was kind of worried about it. I was like, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, even if I just like hold it up, it looks a little see-through. But then when you wear it, if you're wearing like obviously the right undergarments, then it doesn't necessarily look see-through. So a plus for that. Um, but yeah, it basically goes like this and then like that. But yeah, both of these are done. So that is two orders out of the way. I just need to iron them down, make sure they're good and pressed. I don't know if I will have the energy to start on something again tonight, but the other things should be a little bit maybe quicker to make. Yeah, the pants, I'm still waiting on the inseam measurements, so I'm not really sure I can do those yet. But then I just have the black striped Ava top, which I think will be the next one since I already have black on everything. And then I have the olive patchwork BBT, which shouldn't be too bad either. So that's what we've got going on. I told myself that I would maybe pre-make some stuff too, just to have in case pop-ups come up or anything like that so maybe tonight if i do start on the ava top i'll cut out a few other ones too and maybe some of the pants i actually need to remake my own top because i wore it last week when i went out with my friends and it felt a little shorter than it usually was and i was like did it shrink like i washed it at my grandma's house in spain and usually she hang dries everything but there was one last batch of laundry that i did the day before i left and i think some pieces weren't fully fully dry yet so so we put them in the dryer to finish drying them before I obviously had to pack them. And I think that one went in there and it shrunk a little bit. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to wash it again since I wore it. And I put it in the dryer because I was like, I want to see if it shrinks more or not. Just because I need to know that. And it did shrink a little bit more. So I printed out some little labels that obviously tell people not to put it in the dryer. Which I already had a feeling about, but I just wanted to double check. So I need to make, remake mine because usually I would pre-shrink the fabric if I can but because I don't have like laundry in unit anymore and obviously I have to pay for laundry and I have a whole lot of that fabric, it just doesn't seem very doable for me to pre-shrink it myself. So it's just gonna be one of those like, do not put it in the dryer kind of things, which like generally speaking, knits tend to not do well in dryers anyway. So you shouldn't be putting your knits in the dryer, just also to up keep the fabric. But I printed labels out just for people to like really know. So anyway, that being said, I need to make myself one again so I can promo it still. And then I think I might just cut out a few extra ones since that one's an easy one to make as well. So yeah, I just want to kind of have some inventory in case things pop up for the holidays, which I'm hoping for. I'm like trying to plan out a couple of things, but nothing's like solid yet. So I'm kind of just waiting on it. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to continue tonight or not, but we will see either that or I will continue tomorrow. But that's it for now. So it is the next morning and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the striped Ava top. So I have the fabric right here. The only thing about this that is like more time consuming is obviously matching up the stripes. Make sure that they're aligned on the front and back. Other than that, it's a pretty quick process, but yeah, I feel like the lining up of the stripes really does get you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a couple extra smalls, which is the pattern that I already have. And then I'm gonna make a few other patterns for different sizes and then cut them out too. So I need to make the actual size that the order is. I only have the extra small, which is my size, but I also need to make an extra small for myself. But 
I'm gonna go ahead and pattern out the other sizes, get those cut out, and then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out a few different sizes just to have because I think I'm gonna do a pop-up in November. So I just wanna like prep myself because the holiday season just always comes up really, really quick. So I wanna make sure that I'm like staying ahead of the game and like getting things prepped. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the other sizes and then start cutting that out. <laughs> I just got all of these sizes that I need. So I have an extra small up to an XL. That's usually what I do in terms of like making pre-made stuff because in all honesty and full transparency, those are the sizes that sell the most for me. So it doesn't really make sense for me to make bigger sizes just as like inventory unless they're actually ordered. So that's what I've got going on. I feel like I get asked that a decent amount. And yeah, I feel like it just depends on the brand. I, I know there are brands that do get a lot bigger sizes or maybe even smaller sizes, but my brand tends to be within that range. Like I get a decent amount, most being like extra small, small, medium is kind of the range I get or like a two, four, six, eight. But then I do get a decent amount of like 10, 12s, um, 14s, like large, extra large. Yeah, it doesn't really go past that too many times. So whenever I do make inventory just to have, I never really make those sizes just because again, it's not what usually sells for me. So it doesn't make sense for me to make it. But if you're like making inventory and you are trying to figure out sizes, I would just go based off of like what usually sells for you. That's kind of how I base it. And some people have different sizes that sell more for them. So I would just go with that. But that's what works for me. So that's what I do. I just feel like I get asked that a lot when it comes to like making inventory for pop-ups or anything. It's like, what sizes do you make and how many? It's just like, depends on what you sell and what sells for you because every brand is different in terms of what they attract. So that being said, I've got all of my sizes here and I'm gonna go ahead and start actually cutting them out. I'm gonna just cut out an extra small for myself and then the extra large is actually the size that I have to make. And then I'm gonna cut one of every other one just to have and we'll see how many I actually feel like cutting out because like I said, matching these stripes is a little annoying. So I don't know how many I'm gonna actually wanna be cutting out, but I'm gonna try to cut out as many as possible just to have because cutting is usually my least favorite part. So I wanna try to get that out of the way so that when I do have to sew, I'll appreciate myself for having already cut them. <laughs> eventful weekend and I just got back from Pilates. I have not been in like so long because I was out of town and it killed me a bit but I need to get back into it because yeah it just made me feel so much better throughout the days and I have not been feeling well so I'm like trying to take care of myself again so that's that this weekend I got invited to my first like creator event like the first event that I got invited to like as a creator with TikTok because I'm in Casa TikTok which is the Latina community within TikTok. And it was so much fun. I didn't get any like vlog content, but I did film a few little clips here and there. It was really fun. My friend Berenice was there. Also my friend Andrea was there, which was really fun. Um, and yeah, we just got to hang out. I've met a few other creators and it was a good vibe. I loved it. It was super fun and like just crazy that like I got invited by TikTok to an event in LA, like wild. And then I hung out with some friends that night as a pre-birthday thing because I have a few friends that will not be here on my birthday so it was like a pre-birthday kind of vibe which was cute and fun and yesterday Sunday Lexi, Chaslin, and Paola had a little influencer closet sale at a cute little cafe so I stopped by to say hi also because Lexi will also not be here for my birthday weekend and I was like girl I've not seen you because it's the funniest thing because I moved to LA at the end of May and she had been like begging me to like move here, obviously, because we're like great friends and she, you know, is going to school here. She goes to fit them. And as soon as I moved here, she left like a week after that and has not been back since. And like, she just got back. School just started for her. And I was like, oh my God, great. My birthday's next weekend. Like come to my little birthday party. She's like, I'm going back home this weekend for a wedding. I was like, girl, why does it never align for us? So anyway, hung out with her, which was fun. Anyway, today is like my first full week back to like normal work and i'm just so excited to be back into a normal routine i've been so exhausted from being all over the place and i personally like don't do well if i'm not 
in like a good routine like i love traveling and it, i do well with it but i feel like i do my best and i'm like the most centered and focused if i have like a good routine that i'm focusing on so i am very excited to get back to that i'm going to make some coffee in my new little casa tiktok mug which is so cute they gave us a bunch of merch too which was really fun and just like little goodies they also had rare beauty there and we got a little like bag of rare beauty like cosmetics which is crazy i've never used them and i never planned on buying them because i don't wear makeup enough to like care to buy it so i just use whatever i have whenever i need to but i'm so excited to use it it feels like selena gomez herself is like giving you something when you get something from rare beauty but obviously not but like that's how i feel anyway gonna make some coffee and then we will get started with the day past few months of living in LA I have been trying to get multiple jobs I had a job when I first moved here and it did well and we did well and then it just kind of like faded like I was doing social media for them and then they just kind of like stopped putting the effort into their business for a hot minute and I don't know if they're just like rebranding or something but I wasn't told what was going on and I just like I don't want to say I got ghosted because I have a great good relationship with like the two founders and I keep in touch for other things it's like I didn't get that but it was just like it, that faded pretty much got another social media job in August and that company was just so awful to work with and they were saying no to absolutely everything I was giving them they were just not wanting to change and they just were run by a 40 year old she was doing it in like a 2016 kind of way where everything was just aesthetic and it had no meaning no context so their engagement was so low when they had like a hundred thousand followers and they just weren't listening to anything and it just didn't end well and they essentially fired me which was really shitty because they didn't even let me finish the full month they never posted anything that i gave them so it's not like they could have seen what i would have done but anyway glad i'm not working with them but all that to be said is that i feel like i've just like all the jobs i keep trying to have to help myself just like keep not working out for me so i have a new one and i think this one will actually be like good i'm doing social media content again for a brand but not like a clothing brand it's like a drink brand um which maybe i'll eventually talk about but i don't want to talk about it yet anyway that being said i have some work to do for them some like onboarding type of stuff i feel so much more at ease with them because they have given me more onboarding things and like doing more of like an intro to everything whereas everybody else was just like okay start making content and it's like okay well i need context of like more about your brand and like what you like and you know it's just like easier to do things like that so they're doing like a bunch of onboarding type of stuff that i need to get done i have a meeting with them tomorrow to like go over everything so i'm gonna try to like dedicate a certain amount of hours per day to this like a dedicated hour it's not like x amount of hours but i just want to say like work on it like in the mornings or like whatever because i tend to just do whatever i feel like doing which is fine because i I'm allowed to do that but for this other job where i have to like do it for somebody else i want to make sure i get it in at the right times and stuff so i think i'm going to dedicate like mornings to it so that is what we will be doing and then later we will get into the studio <laughs> So I just finished up all the work that I needed to do for tomorrow. It is now like 11.40. So we're gonna take a lunch break here soon, but I do need to clean up my room because I'm gonna be honest, I have not unpacked since I got back from Dallas, which was less than a week ago. So it's not really that bad, but usually I do unpack like right away. And this time I just was so tired that I did not want to, and it's just been sitting there. So I wanna clean up. I also have like my Casa TikTok merch bag whatever there and just like a bunch of little things that i kind of need to clean up in my room that i should have done yesterday but it was not feeling it so i'm gonna do it today because if my space is like cluttered and messy then i feel just like very out of control and like not good so i always need to make sure things are kept tidy and i have not been good about that which is also probably the reason i have not been doing well so let's do it <music> So it is now 12 and I'm going to make some lunch. So today we will be doing salmon because I have not had it in a hot minute actually. And I tend to have it at least like twice a week. Like I'll buy one thing of salmon and then like I'll eat half with like veggies or whatever. And then the other half I'll mix into like pasta or rice and do that kind of vibe. So today is a salmon with veggies kind of vibe. 
My favorite way to make it is just like in the oven so I don't have to like do too much and I can just leave it in there. That's what we're gonna do. And you know what's funny is that I ran out of salt the other day. Like I don't know who runs out of salt, but I ran out of salt. And obviously I ran out of salt in my little tiny shaker. So I was like, oh, let me just go get like my big like Morton salt thing. Like, oh, I literally threw it away because there was no more left in it. So the only salt I have currently is this like bougie flaky salt. It's literally meant to like top things off like with the flaky ones that look really nice. But this has been saving my life because I literally went grocery shopping yesterday and forgot to buy salt again. I've gone grocery shopping three times since I ran out of salt and every single time I've forgotten. So we're still surviving off of that. Anyway, I need to add some on there. I usually don't go like crazy with like types of spices or like things like that. But every once in a while, I do like to put like a little like honey on it. So you get the like honey glazed salmon. I think it's such a good combo. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It gives it a nice little something. I also never time this, so I always just put it in the oven and hope for the best. Like I just kind of look at it and I can feel out when it's like good or not. But I also like my salmon like a little bit rare, so I never fully cook it because I feel like if you have leftovers and you reheat them, it gets so dry if it's like too cooked. So we're not here for dry salmon. <laughs> Today's veggies will include onion and mushrooms, tomatoes, and spinach. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's get cutting and get these going. finished lunch i always take like pretty much an hour like 12 to 1 for lunch because i always cook lunch and then like eat it and then sit for a hot minute because i feel like i just need that reset for myself so i'm gonna get back into the studio we're gonna continue cutting out the striped tops i cut out two i believe the last time i was cutting which i think was friday so i want to cut out actually no i cut out two and i think i want to cut out three or four more just again to make some inventory so the one order that I had of this top because I'm gonna go to the post office and drop up four orders that I have ready so I wanted to finish this one so I could also put it in there the rest of them I have everything cut for and I'll finish later but I do want to go over to the post office drop this off today so that is what we're gonna do so this one is fully finished I just ironed it out as well so it is ready to go and it looks super cute so I'm gonna go ahead and package the orders and we'll head to the post office post office and tell me why it was closed for columbus day who closes on columbus day what the heck couldn't drop off the packages so i will drop them off tomorrow i'm going to end the vlog here because it's like five ish now i think yeah literally 504 and i'm probably gonna shower soon and eat dinner and then probably do some more work later tonight but yeah it's gonna be it for the vlog i will start a new one tomorrow with more production and more things but thank you guys so much for watching i feel like i haven't done production in a hot minute or just a vlog like this in a while so hope you've enjoyed and yeah go follow all my other socials if you haven't already so you keep up with me on more like real-time basis and i will see you guys in the next one bye